So we got the Samsung Galaxy C9 Pro here. Finally, um, a much, much requested device uh, straight from Taiwan, I think. And it is uh, costing about $500. So I will be comparing it to some other uh, phones like Galaxy A9 Pro. That would be a great comparison because I really like these Pro phones. You know, they're like, you know, the steroid versions of the you know normal variants so they have like big batteries so I think I'm gonna need a knife here spilling off the plastic there we go so uh, the box resembles a lot like the previous semi uh, devices like the A9 Pro you know very similar stuff so I'm gonna quickly lift this one up and here we have the Galaxy C9 Pro my god this is looking so so beautiful wow such a premium device and uh, it's having a 6 inch display so uh, of course it's a really big phone but compared to A9 Pro it definitely feels a lot slimmer you know build quality feels a bit more uh, leveled up you can say so let's take a look at the accessories so uh, after the C9 Pro most probably I'll be unboxing the Galaxy A 2017 series so which is coming this month very soon so subscribe uh, for those videos so uh, we have like a box here I think it contains some of the paperwork so we also have the uh, sim ejecting tool then moving on we get some more stuff here uh, okay this is something that I can't read because I don't know this language and uh, you can see we have this fast charger which also looks a lot different I mean this device came straight from Taiwan uh, yeah that's why everything looks different so here we have some normal um, Sammy earpods. So yeah, that is what we have inside the box other than the phone. So moving on to the actual device The star of the show the Galaxy C9 Pro. I'm just gonna quickly uh, remove the plastic from the back and Oh my god, it feels so so premium. I mean Glass is good, but aluminum is just next level, you know feels so good in hand and I hope this phone should have some battery because I'm about to boot this one up and here we go uh, so it is a super slim phone I mean even with 6 inch display and a 4000 million part battery it is f it is you know a super slim phone like it feels super thin for that big size and uh, yeah, that's the main thing that separates the C9 Pro from the A9 Pro. Obviously, battery is not 5,000. Uh, so, we're going to quickly, quickly get through the setup. And we are done. So, oh my god, this is a surprise. This phone is actually having the latest Grace UI. Wow. I had no idea about this. I actually thought that it would be having, you know, the um, the normal Android Marshmallow. But this is Grace Touch with UI. Uh, the uh, at the moment it's like the um, second Samsung device to have this you know a 2016 has it actually third Grand Prime Plus is also having this improved uh, Grace UI so you get all the uh, cool new toggles uh, lots of stuff from the Note 7 so there is our secure folder blue light filter so pretty nice stuff and I like the wallpaper uh, this phone just feels so so good in hand. I mean build quality display is looking really really sharp The camera is 16 megapixels. So it is you know the same as what we see on a9 pro and other devices So you get the latest uh, UI latest improved UI from Samsung. So got some really nice uh, modes here and also swiping here some Taiwanese stuff uh, these modes and everything they look a lot different I mean I don't know if this phone will be like coming to other countries I think it's available in India but uh, yeah uh, that is what we have a specific 
like Taiwanese mode. We're gonna record videos all the way up to full HD 1080p, uh, which is nice. So we have a USB type C port down here, which is pretty nice because currently, as of now, this is the only Samsung phone to have USB type C since the Galaxy Note 7, you know, died. So yeah, uh, also we do have always on mode, which is great, something we have seen only with the, uh, you know, flagship Galaxy S7 devices. So another big amazing thing about this device is that it's having six gigs of RAM, which is crazy. Like it's the first ever Samsung device to have six gigs of RAM. So, um, I mean, looking at this, we can definitely expect six gigs of RAM uh, on the Galaxy S8, uh, you know, in the future. Uh, that is a pretty obvious thing. So you can see uh, I have like 3.6 gigabyte of uh, available space for like multitasking and other stuff. So, uh, which is like so much of a space for um, you know, multitasking and, you know, having the smooth performance. So I can't wait to test this phone out in a speed test battle. Uh, processor inside of this phone is Snapdragon 653, which should be enough to run pretty much everything uh, smoothly without any problem. Uh, although, again, I'll be testing its speed performance compared to other devices, you know, like the Galaxy 7, Galaxy A9 Pro. Uh, let me know which, which videos you want to see. I will be doing my full review also, so stay tuned for all that content. Uh, kicking off 2017 with a Sammy boy here.